In this how-to, we're gonna look at using flight plan to assist with taxiing. I've preloaded a flight plan. I've created one from Washington National because as we'll see, the taxiways are well marked. But I wanted to start at parking, which would have started us cold and dark. So I preloaded this flight plan with my aircraft already started. So let's go ahead and load this in flight simulator. We can go ahead and start that cooking and the reason I did that was because if you zoom in on Washington National Airport, eh, 17 is probably good, and switch to satellite, we'll see that the markings on the runways, uh, or rather on the taxiways, are clear and, and large. So this is a good example to use. So now that we've spawned in the aircraft, we're at our parking spot. We'll go ahead and check out where we are. So it spawned at the parking spot I selected. The first thing we want to do is request our taxi. Uh, depart straight out, I don't Washington care. Brown. So let's get our taxi route from ATC. So we're gonna hold short of 33 using taxiway F. We've got a cross runway one, cross 22. And then in you know, a small aircraft like this, I mean, even whether I wanted to follow the taxi uh, route or not, just figuring out which runway and what direction to go, a great big airport and this tiny little plane can be a challenge. So just like any good road trip, we should probably check out our route first. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here we are, and here's the nearest taxiway markings. So I need to use taxiway F across runway one is my first instruction. So I can see here's J and K running north-south, and I can see my direction F leading to runway one and runway 22. So we're on the right track. We cross runway one, we cross runway 22. That's the hold short for one and 22. And there's our hold short for 33. So we've got a relatively short taxi. So we've checked out our route. Now for me, it can still be helpful to watch the aircraft as I taxi, because especially in a short aircraft, it can be hard to see the lines and see exactly where you are on the tarmac. So. Let's go ahead and adjust this so that we can see our signs, but we can also maybe zoom in a little bit. No, that's probably good because we're just heading right here. I usually leave this up when I'm taxiing so I can follow the instructions, but this one's pretty easy. We'll leave it up anyway. All right, so we need to head this direction. Oops, I've already overshot it. We can zoom in if we're not sure, and I can see I need to follow F. I should be able to see, well, we'll see our signage here in a second. Let's turn GPS follow back on. And then, of course, try not to get killed when crossing the runway. It's always advisable. So we're gonna cross runway one, and then we're crossing runway 22, and just stay on an F. This one was pretty easy. Again, I chose a, a well-marked airport for the demonstration. This is a lot more useful on less well-marked airports. And again, whether you wanna follow the ground instructions or just get to your runway and take off, at least using satellite view gives you the relationship of your aircraft to the runway and where you are on the taxiways. Okay, so hope that helps. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.